A Princeton psychologist's research has ranged from studies of decision-making to the science of happiness, yielding insights that led Nobel jurors to decide to award him the Nobel Prize in economics. One surprising finding from Princeton's Daniel Kahneman is that people aren't very good at predicting what will make them happy. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan sat down with Kahneman for an in-depth interview to be broadcast on NJN Public Radio and has this report. With the late Amos Tversky and other colleagues, Daniel Kahneman made discoveries about human judgment that challenged and changed economists' thinking. He was interested in how and why people make mistakes. We did not do it with the purpose of questioning the assumptions of economics. We were just following the trail of psychological investigation, and it got us to the point that we were raising questions about economic theory that some economists became seriously interested in. That's, you know, in a nutshell, the story. Experiments that shed light on the role of well, intuition, yeah. biases, and shortcuts in decision-making stimulated the growth of behavioral economics and a science of happiness. You can ask people to evaluate their life, to think about their life and how they feel about their life when they think about it. But you can also examine how they feel as they are living, which is a very different thing. So those two are separate. Uh, and, and that turns out to be an important contribution to the science of happiness, that is just distinguishing those two. And then it turns out that people are very poor at guessing what will make them happy. Kahneman says people tend to exaggerate the importance of anything they think about, an effect called the focusing illusion. So when people are thinking of something, whether to move to California or to buy a car, it's very important to, uh, for them to ask themselves how much they will be thinking about it while they consume it. So they're all thinking about different aspects of your life in the light of focusing illusion may, may indeed cause people to make somewhat different decisions about what to invest in. The rest of our interview can be heard on Sounds of Science from NJN Public Radio. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Princeton.